these vehicles are our police officers office and every day thousands of police vehicles are patrolling the streets of Colorado racking up miles but for the first time access to replacement vehicles is no longer guaranteed. The pandemic really brought it all to a halt. Um, people stopped manufacturing. The chip shortage from the pandemic has now lingered for years. Major manufacturers like Stellantis, Ford, and GM have largely bounced back in their production of vehicles for the public. There's a lot more money to be made with vehicles that have all the different upfits and sunroofs and heated steering wheels. But production of police vehicles has stalled so badly. A lot of our vehicles year over year have been canceled. Fort Collins Police. We've had several orders canceled. The Larimer County Sheriff's Office and many other police agencies we contacted in Colorado all said they had seen delays or cancellations of orders they needed years ago. This is an issue that's impacting fleet orders across the entire nation. We're all vying for a smaller piece of a pie. Sure, some vehicles are slowly trickling in. In Fort Collins, the police department averages 30 new police vehicles a year, meaning in the last two and a half years, around 70 new vehicles should have been delivered. In the last two and a half years, we've gotten about 15 new police vehicles in. So right now we have 55 Ford police interceptors that uh, we're waiting to come in. At the Larimer County Sheriff's Office. So I've got 34 vehicles that rapidly need to be replaced. You may be thinking, why not just fix the old fleet? Well, they are. Higher operating costs, you got engines, transmissions, um, you got extra tire costs, brake costs. But that plan, too, is also now seeing its own challenges. Parts are also becoming more and more problematic with the ongoing United Auto Workers strikes that are now affecting not only production of new vehicles, but also uh, parts. Availability is down, prices are up, parts are down. So it's a, it's a perfect storm. And police vehicles age more rapidly than personal cars. These vehicles are used to rapidly accelerate, stop, swerve, and sometimes off-road, adding to the wear and tear. Are you called for? And many may not realize to keep lights and computers functioning, on-duty officers leave their vehicles idling even when they aren't in them. So that idle time adds a lot of wear and tear onto the vehicle. So if you take a 100,000 mile vehicle, you're probably about 250,000 miles uh, just on engine idle hours alone. Meaning an odometer on a police vehicle with 100,000 miles should actually read closer to 350 or 400,000. And that's where it becomes so important to get new vehicles. Right now, I'd say about 15 to 20% of our fleet is over 100,000 miles. Cops are in cars longer than they should be. CBS News Colorado reached out to Ford, Stellantis, and GM for comment. Ford didn't respond. GM simply said they are ramping up production due to demand, but a spokesperson for Stellantis admitted they've been navigating logistical hurdles, noting their, quote, law enforcement business remains strong, with Charger Pursuit and Durango Pursuit shipments up 123 and 166% respectively. But the delays are still extended. Typically, we're talking a couple months. We're not talking years. Agencies are now anticipating orders to be fulfilled in 18 to 24 months. I've had to put vehicles back in service that we've retired just because of the need. But agencies we spoke with say the community should know. While the production of police vehicles has dramatically slowed, the commitment to serve their community remains the same. Our mechanics here at City of Fort Collins have done a great job of keeping our fleet in really good shape and that has allowed us to not have any interruption of service to the community. Just because a police vehicle was ordered years ago at one price doesn't mean that's what the departments will end up paying. The manufacturers can and have increased the price of their vehicles. One agency telling me they are now paying 20 to 30% more per vehicle. And in the end, that's a bill that's passed down to you and I, the taxpayers. In Larimer County, Dolan Thomas covering Colorado first.